I'm currently waiting on the ferry back to Puerto, Puerto Juarez, uh, Cancun. Um, but last night, I ended up catching it. I ended up getting the unwanted Mexican colon cleanse. Um, yeah, it was, it was a pretty rough night last night. Uh, this morning, I was fine. Uh, checked out of the hotel, and then I stopped at a pharmacia, pharmacy here, where uh, I talked to the lady and she got me what I needed, so I'm starting to feel better, took some medicine. But yeah, uh, just a warning, uh, whenever they give you straws for your drinks, drink from the straws. I, uh, a couple of my uh, iced teas or whatever, I drank from the glass and not the straw. Uh, there's many different ways to catch this bug. Uh, it's usually like, it's, a, it's in the water. Um, so most places the ice is good. Uh, but yeah, if, if they wash their dishes or even their uh, food, like lettuce and salads, or, you know, anything like that, with the wrong water, yeah, you can catch this bug. So, and it's it'll tie you up. It'll it'll, it'll keep you in the hotel room for a while. So that's kind of how my last night went after that last video. So, anyways, hopefully the day will go smooth. About to catch this ferry, and uh, we're heading to Hallbosch. So I was just on the uh, ADO over there. Uh, anyways, need to get. Uh, we're in the town of Chiquila. It's a ferry town to go to Hallbosch. So here's where I got to pick up my uh, ferry tickets, and then uh, yeah, we'll head over to Hallbosch. I'm starving. I did not eat anything. I was on that bus for two and a half hours. We are in some rough, raw country out here, though, in Quintana Roo. Uh, a lot of it's uninhabitable jungle, which is pretty wild, so. All right, I'm gonna get my ticket. I am tired. It's a travel day. I'm hungry. I'll see you guys on the ferry. Bosch. Next up, we gotta find my Airbnb. So I found my Airbnb. My Airbnb is called Macondo Holbox.
kind of a jungle, uh, jungle vibe. So I already checked in, so everything's already laid out, but this is the room. Got a balcony here that kind of looks down on the street. The bathroom's not too bad. So yes, this is my hotel, or Airbnb in Holbosch. Uh, it's pretty decent. The Wi-Fi is not that great, but if you see, if you go down to the main uh, lobby area, it's a lot better. But otherwise, yeah, good times. I like the bike. <laughs> I just uh, rented this bike from those guys, and uh, yeah, so we're just gonna ride around town. I'll show you a little bit about the town, and then we'll go out to. Uh, we we'll got to the playa, also known as the beach, and uh, yeah, maybe we'll cool off there. Currently on a mission. I need to find a pharmacy, the pharmacia. Uh, I mean, I'm feeling okay, but I can tell I'm not like 100%. Stomach's still kind of giving me a little. You just can tell that there's something uh, going on down there. And uh, I got like some medicine kind of with the gas aspect, thinking, okay, my body will ride it out. But I just feel, I feel like it needs. Uh, I need something just a little bit different, a little stronger to really boot it out of my system. So I'm gonna go talk to the pharmacy here and see what they have. All right, I got some uh, Pepto uh, chewables. The pharmacist suggested Pepto. So I took two Pepto. I'm gonna take a little siesta and uh, we'll see how I feel after that. Yeah, just riding around and seeing all the beautiful sights. Yeah, I uh, really like Holbosch. I highly recommend it. Um, I like Isla Mujeres, but uh, Isla Mujeres is a little more touristy, a little more busy. It's fun, um, big, bigger island, but um, I just like kind of the rusticness of Holbosch. I mean, it's got uh, it's got infrastructure, but all the roads are dirt roads and uh, or sand, I should say. And I don't know. There's just something something cool about it. It's a vibe. I guess they do have quite the nightlife. Uh, last night, uh, there was a hostel <laughs> uh, Airbnb next door to my hotel, and man, they were getting down. When they shut down, everything usually shuts down around midnight. Uh, man, there's a lot of people just strolling the streets uh, past my uh, Airbnb. It was pretty cool. Like, I enjoyed it. I was laid up just because I was getting over my uh, stomach issues, but maybe tonight, maybe tonight I'll go check out some nightlife. All right, we're gonna cruise, we're gonna cruise to the next playa.
Oh yeah, we're doing this. How incredible is this? Uh, we're on the uh, Punta Coco side of uh, Olbosch, which I believe is the southwestern side. And this, this water is about a foot deep. And then there's a sandbar right over here. Um, we'll just walk out to the sandbar. Oh, we got fish. I don't know if you can see the fish. All right, I made it to the sandbar. <laughs> Pretty much out here by myself. That is what's great about Olbosch. It's, um, <laughs> yeah, it's not as touristy, so there's plenty of wide open spaces. Now, in about five years, this could change. Five to 10 years, definitely, I can see this being a well-known destination. So if you're gonna come, I'd say, come within the next five years, and you'll still be able to probably experience just the unique, uh, wildness and openness of it uh, before it becomes too touristy. I mean, it's got, you've got people selling you tours and things like that, but they're not pushy like they were on Isla Mujeres. Um, everybody's super friendly. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, this has actually become a really, uh, really cool uh, spot. I'm actually uh, stoked. <laughs> it was a friend of mine that told me about this. You might want, he's a musician and he's DJed out here or played his music out here a few times. Um, his name is Tyson Leonard. Uh, you check him out on uh, Spotify. He goes by Tropo, T-R-O-P-O. And uh, yeah, that's the kind of vibe this guy drops. He's one of my good friends. And uh, yeah, he told me about this place and when I get back, I can't thank him enough for this recommendation. So, all right, I'm just gonna enjoy the moment out here. I'll check back with you guys later. dogs back here are making me so happy they're just two random dogs I don't see an owner anywhere and they're just having the time of their lives <laughs> you want to talk about some happy dog there they are oh man those guys those dogs are just loving it I, I literally don't see an owner <laughs> I think these dogs just kind of run the island and uh, they know how to live life. Look at them.
So I'm at a place called Terramia and uh, they make some amazing juices and frozen uh, treats as well as coffee and espresso and stuff. It's about midday, I figure I'd get myself a nice frozen mango tropical treat. Also, uh, a little tip, uh, if you're in Mexico, anywhere tropical, anywhere where it's hot and humid, uh, look for these in the pharmacia, the electrolyte uh, drinks. Yeah, I drink at least two to three of these a day. It just kind of keeps your electrolyte uh, levels up. Uh, hydration, key, water will help, but this just kind of fills in those gaps. So, drink them. see what Holbosch has to offer for nightlife and tonight we are on the trusty steed that's right we are on the bicycle just so you know I rented this thing for $15 a day uh, 24 hours so I think that's a deal if you're planning on exploring Holbosch all right let's cruise Well, it, uh, there, there is quite a bit going on. Uh, 
but it's a Sunday, so there's there's nothing really big going on. And uh, I mean, there's a lot of people downtown. It's about eight thirty, nine o'clock right now here. And uh, I already ate earlier, so most of the spots that were seemed like they were they had something going on. They seemed real intimate. Um, I am by myself. And I don't drink alcohol, so it's <laughs> two things. When coming to paradise, uh, just to forewarn you, if you don't drink, most of your activities are probably gonna be outdoors, you know. I mean, you can go into the restaurant, I, I go into the restaurants. It's not like I'm, you know, prohibited or anything like that, but for me, it's just, yeah, I, I used to drink at one point, but I don't do that anymore. Um, just because I'm a wild man. I'm already wild as it is. Throw some fuel on this fire. And... But I have had some good times. But those days are behind me and now I'm just trying to enjoy and remember and have fun uh, in other ways. So, and then the other thing, yeah, obviously I'm single. So I'm not traveling with a partner, girlfriend. Um, so it's yeah it, it, it can be rough that can be, that can be a rough combination and i find being content that i can just come back to the hotel room relax I've got a bunch of movies uh that i've downloaded and crash out and get up first thing in the morning and do it all over again which leads me into uh something i wanted to share uh, when my schedule when I travel my daily schedule is like this I wake up take a shower get dressed go find coffee and breakfast after that I go to the beach or I go explore for a couple hours and then uh, by then it's lunchtime I'll grab a little light lunch come back to the hotel room take another shower take a siesta, you know, a little three hour uh, chill session. Either I nap or I just hang out or I'm uh, editing videos, just having some downtime in the AC. And then I'll go back out again, just go to the beach um, and explore some more. And that's what I do. And then when I come back, I'll shower again and then maybe come out later like it is now and go explore and see what's going on. So that's my schedule. <laughs> that's what I do. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of Hall Bosch. I still have a day and a half left, but I wanna give that day and a half uh, to myself so that I can enjoy it and be present in the moment and not have to worry about recording. Something you should know that any YouTubers that you watch that are showing an area that they're in, you're only getting maybe 10%, if that, of what's actually going on while they're there during their time. Um, because I'm only capturing bits and pieces, even though I compile it in my editing to you know being you know a full day really there's a lot more going on you know I, there's people that i talk to but i just don't have the camera in their face i'm respectful like that sometimes you know i'll you know i'll have the camera randomly if the situation goes down but um yeah most of the time i'm just relaxing chilling enjoying the moment because that's what this is all about you know i never wanted to be an influencer I wanted to be more of an inspirer, you know, somebody who inspires people to maybe save some money or if they have money in savings, you know, hey, spend it. Go create those memories. Go get those experiences. Get a tan. Put a smile on your face. Go see some culture. Um, and that's, that's really why I make these videos is one, I enjoy it, but two, I also want other people to be inspired. And I hope that somebody might see my video you know who might be on the fence about anything in their life especially when it comes to travel or living in your car or anything like that starting a business whatever that take that leap just take the leap and do it and you never know what might happen you know worst case scenario you fail and you're right back where you started so i hope you enjoyed this video I will have more travel videos coming. This is it for now. 
Um, I probably my next video will be my, me traveling back and flying home, and uh, you know maybe sharing you know more about this trip that I've been on here in Mexico. So with that, I will see you guys at the next video.